Today we're just going to remind ourselves about multiplication by 0, 1 and 2. Let's start off with 1. If we say 1 times 3, we mean that we have one group of 3. Well, obviously, if we have one group with three sweets in it, in total we'll have three sweets. If we have one group of seven sweets, we will have seven sweets in total. And so one times seven is seven, one times five is five, one times a hundred is a hundred, one times a thousand is a thousand, and so on. Division by 1 is equally simple. If we do 4, divide by 1, what we mean is we have got 4 sweets and we've just got one child we need to give those sweets to. Well, if there's only one child going to get those sweets, all 4 will go to the one child. And so 4 divided by 1 will be equal to 4. Similarly, a hundred divided by one is a hundred, a million divided by one is a million, so division by one is simple. What we looked at zero. Now here, if we say zero multiplied by three, what we're thinking of is that we have got zero groups of three. Well, if we've got zero, in other words, we've got no groups of three, we've got nothing at all. So zero multiplied by anything will get us to zero. Division by zero causes us a big problem. If we do three divide by zero, what we have is we have three sweets and what we're doing is we're thinking we've got no children and then we're asking ourselves how many sweets does each child get do you see that that makes no sense whatsoever to have three sweets and then you've got no children to share them with and then to try and think about how many each child will get makes no sense so we say that the answer in this case does not exist. However, just so we don't get confused, if we have 0 divided by 3, that's a totally different scenario. In this case, what we have is we've got 0. In other words, we have no sweets. So I'm sitting with absolutely no sweets, and in this case, I have got three children very keen to have some sweets, but I have no sweets. So how many will I give each child? Well, I'm afraid because I've got no sweets. I can't give any sweets to the children. And so zero divided by three will be zero. Let's just recap that quickly. If we say 5 divide by 0, what we have is 5 sweets and we have no children. So we're wanting to take 5 sweets and share them between no children. And we're asking ourselves how many do each child get. That doesn't make any sense. So the answer in this case does not exist. On the other hand, if we've got no sweets and we're going to share those between five children, we've got no sweets, five children wanting to share those sweets. Well, there are no sweets to share, so everybody's going to get no sweets. Your two times table is an easy times table, because if you want to work out two times three, really all you're saying is you've got three and another three, which is six. So two times anything 2 times 5 is just 5 and another 5, and so your answer is 10. These are things you just have to learn by practicing over and over again so that they become easy for you.